Hi, hello, my name is LF and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, as promised, we're gonna be going through my favorite designer purchases of 2019. And oh boy, were they a lot. I wrote down a list of my favorite ones because sometimes I even lose track of what I bought and what I have uh, lying around in the house, really. But I wrote down a small list on my phone of like six items that I've been consistently using throughout 2019. And we're gonna go through them together and kind of I will explain to you why I like them so much, why I initially bought them. Hopefully I'll have some links for you on the description below as well. That is of course, depending if the items are still available online, but hopefully most of them should be. Some uh, were part of like limited collaborations, so they're obviously not available anymore. But yeah, sounds good. Okay, let's get just straight on with the video then. The first item I'm going to show you, I'm so excited about this one. I'm starting with a bang, wait and see. It is this red velvet. Can I say that? It is this velvet suit from Hugo Boss and I cannot even believe I own this. I find this to be such a work of art. It looks so, so beautiful, especially with the lighting that it just hits. Like, come on, look at that. I'm like staring at the monitor because I'm like, wow. I got this suit around to the end of 2018, to the beginning of 2019, but this has been my kind of festive suit for last year and this year. It only comes out around December time because obviously where else could I wear it? So I usually just wear it for Christmas parties or like around New Year's Eve. Whenever I wear this, I get so many compliments and obviously I'm kind of the center of attention in the party, like so narcissistic. It is obviously very, very out there, but it goes so well with like the Christmas themes and I just love everything about it. I hope I can get to keep this for the rest of my life because who would want to replace such a suit? I love all the details that it has, especially the lapels here. I love that it's not like a total black, but instead it has the underlining here, which gives like a very subtle black on the collar all the way up there. It was definitely on the pricier side, but again, hoping that this will be a suit that I'll be wearing for the rest of my life every Christmas. You guys are going to get sick of it, but I will never, so I'll always keep wearing it. Oh. Next up is this Burberry flannel shirt, which I'm so happy I finally got. This took me like months to track, and that is because it was always ended up being sold out in their store and online. I remember I was even uh, in Copenhagen, Stockholm at some point, and I was going to every Burberry store trying to find this, but it was literally sold out for a couple of months. But then one lucky day I was in the Knightsbridge store just before, uh, just right after Christmas actually of uh, like, 2018 so that was again January of 2019 uh, most of my purchases really were from long ago actually at the beginning of the year because I've not really been shopping lately that's not true actually I've been shopping but I've not been shopping designer pieces yeah that that's more accurate what I love the most about this is the fact that it's flannel and it's quite of a thick material so I can use it a lot around London and also I can really experiment around with the looks because I can either wear it on its own or like I can wear it with a t-shirt and then this can be open or I can even layer it up with a dirt leg which I do a lot and then just throw on a coat and just kind of give like a very small glimpse of like the Burberry print which is obviously very timeless and all of the pieces that I've kind of been buying that were like designer pieces were uh, items that I could potentially carry on wearing for the rest of my life. I know that they have the cotton serum to the same material, uh, but I've just never really been interested in that. I much rather go for the flannel. Uh, I don't find them to be very versatile. And if you get a cotton serum, you're gonna have to wear it on its own. You cannot really have it open or like layer it up like I usually do with a flannel. I feel like that just wearing the cotton serum on its own with such a heavy print, like it gets very busy. And I don't really like that. So that's why I ended up searching for the flannel around the world and ended up finding it in London. Next up is something you have probably seen in my channel before, no matter what video you have watched of mine. And that is this Versace necklace, which is gold. And then it has uh, the Medusa side just on the black in the center. And then it has the Medusa uh, as well here behind the clasp. And this is literally my probably most worn item in this video. That is because I've practically worn this the past 365 days. It never leaves my body. It is part of me now. Like if you follow me and if you've been keeping up with my YouTube, you know that I have never had a video without this on. I wore it consistently 
from summer with like an open shirt to even now wearing turtlenecks this will be on top of my turtleneck such a subtle little necklace but it brings so much more to the outfit i love wearing like these little accessories because i do think that they make up a look and they can really transform a look so this has practically been uh, with me the past year and i have kind of only take it off to shower just because i don't think it's real gold i mean i'm sure it's not real gold so i do need to take care of it kind of as much as i can as much as i bother with taking care of my items which is not that much but it has stayed and even though i've been wearing it every day it is still gold Keeping it into the accessories, I need to show you my Hugo Boss watch, which also I've been wearing a lot, especially with the Versace necklace that I just showed you, Hugo Boss Chrono Watch, and then it has the mess strap. And yeah, simple outfit, wearing these two together, and done. You vamped it up and you're looking ready to go. So I just love all these little accessories. I have a gold one and then I have a silver one that I use a lot from Versus Versace but uh, when I wear gold I like also pairing it up with gold so these two kind of always go together and this has been on my wrist for most days of 2019 uh, unless I wear my other silver watch I should probably not be wearing it as often because it is a very good watch and I do consider it to be one of my better watches that I have in my collection but I just love it so much that I want to keep sewing it off but I just love them so much and I want to make sure that I use them and I get wear out of them rather than having them sitting in home uh, in a box. Okay, let me take this off. This is obviously staying on. Okay, next up, I'm gonna show you my favorite shoe that I got from 2019. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I absolutely love these boots. These are the Converse X Ambush uh, boots that I got recently. I've actually made a video on my YouTube channel which I'm gonna have in the description below in case you want to check it out. It was a limited collaboration between Ambush and Converse and I got the black pair of boots and I've been wearing them so much. I initially wanted to get the white ones and I've been I was trying so hard that day. I have the whole story on my video if you want to check it out but long story short I ended up getting blocked by many websites and I could only get the black ones and I was kind of annoyed at the beginning I felt like I was going to return them because I really wanted the white ones but I'm actually I've been so happy with the black ones and I'm kind of glad that I ended up getting the black ones because obviously the white ones would have gone and ruined here in London with all the rain so these ones have kind of endured obviously I've not really cleaned them I think since I kind of got them but that's how they look it has the sizing behind which turns out it is the US sizing. Uh, I, I thought at the beginning that they gave me the wrong size. But I've been wearing this so much. I feel like they go with everything. I love like wearing the high-waisted jeans that I showed you in my previous video with these ones and I kind of tuck it inside. There's just so many different things that I can do with this boot. And I also love the yellow laces. I have not actually taken them off. I just wrap them around in my shoe. So there's a lot of laces, but once it's on, it does look normal. It has brought me so much joy and it, I really feel like it elevates the outfits that I wear. And it's only like 150 pounds. I spent so much more money on shoes that I've actually not been happy about. Cue for the next uh, video on my worst purchase of 2019. Stay tuned for that. So having something that is so normal price give me so much joy level up my looks and then also endure the London weather. I mean, what else can I ask for? And that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my favorite designer purchases of 2019. Uh, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh, what I saw today and I really feel like that it depicted what I genuinely love from my closet and what I have that I've been wearing to death. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. It really does help me grow. And if you want to see more of me, you can always follow me on my Instagram for more daily stories and daily fashion posts. But till I see you again, bye bye.